Hey! Hello, and welcome to my very first video. And I hope you're going to like it. <coughs> so, on this... On this channel, I'm just going to be playing Master Duel. And I might start streaming eventually. I just need to get a little com more comfortable with this. But yeah. Alright, so today. <coughs> Sorry about that. Today, we are going to be using a fluffle deck. Pure fluffles, too. No other no other extra deck monsters other than Verte and Aconda. So yeah, so the point of this deck is to obviously Fusion Summon, fight for Cool Whale to gain control of your field, and then you can bring out a whole bunch of other support cards like Sabretooth, and oh, let's see, let's, and even fight for Wolf for an OTK. And then you've also got Crack, and I basically have every fight for Fusion monster in this deck. And then we have a very good variety of all of our Fluffles and Edge Imps. And, you know, obviously, Chew Maxi. So I hope you guys enjoy. Now, let's duel. <laughs> huh, the internet's being a little crappy right now, so... We might be experiencing some severe lag. Alright. As you can see, I'm in gold tier 5. That's because I was just recently demoted from gold 4. Because of the... I think it was a Numeron player. I'm pretty sure. I forgot I was doing so good. There we go. Okay, so this deck normally wants to go first. It's good going first or second. So yeah, it doesn't really matter. Alright. Uh, yes, yeah, the, the icons don't work. For some reason, they just, they're just pink squares. <sighs> Alright. Let's load in here. Anytime now. As I mentioned, uh, we are experiencing some bad internet right now. Okay, we're finally in! <laughs> oh, that took much longer than it should have. Alright, let's see what our enemy is playing. He doesn't have an extra deck, so I'm thinking it might be mine. Oh, wow. Okay, we have a terrible starting hand. You never want to draw only into Fluffles. Okay, so I know what deck this guy is playing. We just ranked up to tier, tier 4. <laughs> I love people who do who do this. They just they, they just build these decks where they just take damage just to give you a win. Tune World is all over. Alright. We won. We can probably just attack with our fluffles. <laughs> yeah, I can just set the thing. Use Fluffle Penguin first effect to special summon Fluffle Bear, and then win instantly. Or, or we could. No, I'm just gonna do this. And I've never actually used Fluffle Penguin's first ability. You always use Fluffle Penguin. For second ability, which is when it's used to fusion summon a fight for monster, you can draw two cards and then discard one card, which is very good for this deck. <laughs> Lucky Punch is always in this deck, too. First time I've seen Destruction of Death in the which is. I don't know, fine. One spell! His plan failed. Okay, I'm just gonna attack. <laughs> Yay, we won! 
first game. Awesome. You know, I love dueling in gold, the gold tier, because that's where you get, like, all of the, you know, all of the fun decks. And, you know, once you rank up to platinum or diamond, you get to see the sweaty players and stuff like that. That's why I try to stay in gold. Alright, so we're obviously going to be doing in every game, because that one was... Well, too quick. Oh, alright. Yay! We ranked up. So I didn't really get to show you guys the actual potential of, of Fluffles. That was... I, I did, like, enjoy that, though. Alright, alright. Time for a, hopefully a longer duel. Who are we going up against? Who are we going up against? Minde. Alright, Minde. You're going down. Ugh, so many people rage quit because of how long fluff my fluffle combos will will take. <laughs> like, sometimes I can get three Piper Cool Whale out in one turn and they just <laughs> They're like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Huh. Okay. Let's hopefully load into this match before Thanksgiving. <laughs> I really like seeing what other Oh my gosh. Okay then. <laughs> two wins in less than two minutes. Wow. <laughs> where's all the where's all the you know the good decks? Okay, I wanna see what deck that guy was playing. He clearly bricked. Had no good cards, couldn't do anything. I was afraid of, of probably playing like branded Despier or something. Or Minde. What? Oh, look at the brick eyes! <laughs> I love it. That's actually a very interesting way to build a blue eyes deck. Alright, let's actually have a, a game here. I want to actually play the match. Alright, who are we going? Uh, okay, I don't know what that is. I don't know what the name is. Alright, come on! Okay, we're going first. We're going first. Hopefully, we don't just draw into all fluffles or all edges. And hopefully, this guy just doesn't concede because I'd actually like to duel somebody and show you guys. But the deck's capable of. Alright. Oh. Yeah, I just I just had dinner so I I might have a little gas. I apologize for that in advance. Alright, like let's let's duel. Come on. Uh, okay, okay. Alright. Okay, so, are you kidding me? What is with these terrible hands? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so, we actually fluffle banner. And he allows us to set a toy banner directly from our deck to the field. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys understand. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. He probably bricked just like I did. It's probably just a branded Despia player or something like that. Or it could be an actual deck. <laughs> it could be it could be a deck out of someone's imagination. It could be something like a, an alligator deck. I I don't know. All right, so we activate Toy Vendor. 
Okay, so we activate Toy Lander and discard Fluffle Hat to help us draw a number of Fluffle Monster. That actually helps us here. Ah! Uh, I That's not what we wanted. Okay. <clears throat> New plan. We summon Fluffle Dog. And then we activate Fluffle Dog. Activate Fluffle Dog to add a Fluffle Monster to our, from our deck to our hand. Okay, never mind. We don't do that. Okay, so I guess we just have to pass our turn. Okay. So, in times like this, you need to hope that your opponent doesn't have any negates. <laughs> Oh wow, we are not doing good. So, the reason Predaplant Verte Anaconda is in here is you can activate its ability to send Fright for Fusion to the Graveyard to Fusion Summon Monsters from your Graveyard. Oh my gosh! What is with these players today? Tonight. Okay, so we have a second chance at Fluffle Dog. Oh my gosh! A Jim Chain! I'm so happy to see you. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got a plan. We summon Fluffle Dog. And if all fails, we just summon Verte Anaconda. Alright, can we do things? Okay, yes we can! That's great, actually. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, so we actually add Fluffle Wings to our hand. Because this is actually gonna let us do really good things. So then, we activate Toy Vendor to draw one card, special summon it if it's a Fluffle. So we're gonna discard Fluffle Wing here. We're gonna uh, understand that in a second. Of course, we draw into Toy Vendor. But that's, that's good, that's good, because now we can activate Toy Vendor. This deck is very consistent. It's really, really good. Oh, now it has a villain. It's probably called by the bridge. We add Fluffle Penguin to our hand. Okay, so then, then we activate Fluffle Wings. And Toy Vendor's Graveyard ability actually isn't once per turn, which is really nice, actually. Uh, it really helps out. Okay, we manage Fluffle Wings. It's called by the Grave right now. Oh my gosh, what a surprise! That's actually useless! <laughs> he doesn't realize that I'm banishing my own card. He needs to read my cards. He should have banished... Actually, he should have banished Edgemp Saw or Fuffle Bear. Oh my gosh. Or Toy Vendor. Actually, he really should have banished Toy Vendor Bear. Wait. Oh my god. The ability didn't work. Wow, okay. Okay, so we still have Verta Anaconda. And actually, we're just gonna send Polarization to the Great Alright, even, even with terrible hands, Fluffle, Fluffle Dex can be very, very good at recovering. And it is a really good re deck with recovering. Hopefully this guy lets us activate Verte and Akana's ability. Okay, so activate Verte. Send polymerization to the graveyard. Because we don't want to banish these guys for fusion's ability. Alright, alright. Alright, we're doing this. Alright, we summon Fright for Cruel Whale. By sending Chain Penguin to the graveyard. And then, once we get the Fight for Cruel whale, ability, whale out, I'm sure you guys already know what its ability does. Because he's always in Buffalo Decks. In case you don't know, Fight for Cruel Whale allows you to win its fusion summon. To destroy one card on your field and one card on your opponent's field. That's exactly what we're gonna do. And 
we're also going to activate Edge on Chain, which allows us to add a fight for card from our deck drain, which is really good right now. And Fluffle Penguin, which I explained earlier, is so to draw two cards and then discard one card. Yeah. We are officially doing good. And no, I'm not going to do other right now. Okay. Fight for repair. Ah, uh, maybe I should have kept that in my hand. No, 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 no. It's good that I did. Okay, so then... We destroy Toy Vendor because it can activate its ability again. And then we just throw her face down. The folks are not waiting for Dragon. Cross out Designator? <laughs> wow. And of course he doesn't have any other cards. <laughs> Probably, you know, not playing a level deck. Alright, we're doing this. Oh yeah. So, we want to add Buffalo Bear to our hand, so that we can discard him to set a toy vendor from our deck to our field. I mean, I just point out that my Buffalo cards are so cute. Alright. Alright. Then we flip the toy vendor face up. Um, you can't use its stability again, sadly. And yes, we are going to use Sprite for Cruel Whale's ability, which you will see why in a second. So, we're going to send a Fight for Monster from our extra deck to the graveyard. So, Fight for Cruel Whale gains attack points equal to half of its attack. So we are going to send Fight for Kraken to the graveyard. Oh, we can use Toy Vendor's ability. Oh, that's great. But we're going to activate Fight for Patchwork, which I'm very sure that you guys know how to use because it's in every single Grand of Death Beat deck. And we want Silence. So that we can fusion some of next turn. I could summon Sabertooth, and then use Sabertooth's ability to special summon Cool Whale back, but I'm just gonna play it safe right now, and I'm not gonna do that. Okay, okay so I'm very curious about what, what this guy's deck is. Alright. We are on a winning streak. This is gonna be like our third win. Hopefully. Alright, alright, so Edge and Scythe is very good in this deck because during your, your opponent's turn you can reveal this card and then you can fusion summon the card monster, which is really good. Oh, God. Okay, so we're going up against Swords and it's just great. I am so very happy. I, I hate Sword Soul so much. It's just like, it's just a waste of time. Doing that. Because you know we're just gonna bring out Baron. Baron of the Floor. And then we're gonna get out. Is it Chen Chen Ying? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's hard name, hard, hard name to pronounce. But yeah, we just bring out Chunic Ace. Then fight for Virtue. We want him to want cruel whale to gain attack points because then it's stronger than their monsters. Okay. Alright, we can still do this. In fact, we just summon another cruel whale. And then we activate cruel whale to instantly destroy. Oh crap, I wanted to kill that's right. And click the card. Yeah, we're gonna destroy Moye before we can activate Moye's ability. Because I knew that they drew into Ecclesia. Because they didn't have anything last turn. Activate. Fight for the Crap, we have another Moye. 
But you can only use Millie's ability once per turn. So I'm fine. Cool. Oh, that's actually really good. We can return to the banished card back to the graveyard. Oh my gosh. We can activate Fluffle Wing's ability, hopefully. Next time we get a bit. Alright, we're gaming. Okay. We're doing very good now. Very, very good. Toy vendor, and then we destroy Mogul. Simple as that. Then we'll activate Toy Vendor's ability. Crap! They still special summon the token, right? Dang it! And they can summon Moye this turn. Dang it! They can still synchro summon. Crap! In hindsight, I probably should have. That's my fault. For not saying. <laughs> there, we still got this. We still got this. I can actually break the field now again. Okay, yeah, you're summoning Moe. Yeah. I can actually cool my own. Which is sad. I don't know what I'm actually gonna say. But I want them both to have 3,900 attack points so they can't just beat over it. What card should we send to the graveyard? Uh, probably the Chuck Leo. I've never got Leo out before because honestly, every time I get Edge and Saw out, it just ends up getting used for a different future summon than I already went out. Alright, just summon Chen Yu and kill me. Or they could be coming back soon. Chicks, yeah, sorry. Chen Yin is the level 10 safer monster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like combos and stuff. Yeah, Sword Soul Blackout. We already have. Uh, what's the. Face! <gasps> Face screwed up! Oh yeah, okay, we won. We have officially won. They screwed up really bad there. <laughs> they were supposed to add Long Duyan to their hand. I guess, well, do they want to activate Bat? I don't know. Why would they want to activate Blackout? It's <laughs> useless right now. <laughs> it's like, it's actually useless. Alright, we're just gonna you know, make him activate it. Hmm, I should have activated it. Uh, okay. Ash Blossom. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. We are still winning. I'll just activate the other fight for cool whales a bit. So that he gains attack points. Didn't think about that one. Oh, I love how, like, Pretty much none of the, their abilities are worth the turn. Like, if I can use them in another fight for Cruel Whale, I can just use its ability again. Chixia is completely useless here. Completely useless. Alright. Alright, we're, we're doing good. I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a really good plan. Fight for fusion to the graveyard. Watch this. Uh, so, fusion summon. Fight for saber tooth. It's unaffected by current effects. If you fusion summon with three or more materials, which is a really good effect. Just to make sure. And we have we have kraken in the graveyard. We have bear and we have kraken. Perfect! So once we summon Sprite for Sabertooth, not only do all my monsters, Sprite for Monsters gain 400 attack points, 
but I can also special summon a Frightful Monster from my graveyard, which is really This card is unreal. Wait, how, whoa, whoa, how come I can't use Sabertooth? How come I can't use Sabertooth? Okay. Protect both of my cards. <laughs> okay, we just win. <laughs> he messed up there. Oh, let me die. I don't know why Sabertooth's ability to activate it. He was fusion. I should have been able to target a fight for Mons. Special side. Alright, three games in a row. That's three wins in a row. Okay, so that actually wasn't much of a challenge. Normally when I see a sword soul player, I'm just like, no, no I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> but yeah, that guy is definitely bricked. Only 2,600. We should have got at least 3,000. Alright. Hey, we can rank up if we win the next round, which is really good. All right, sucks. So, okay, so I don't know, I don't know when my how often I'm gonna post my videos. It might be every like maybe three or four times a week, maybe. I'm I don't really know right now, but that's that's a future me. <laughs> Man, I, re I really hope my voice can be heard from all of this because right now my, the volume on, on my game right now is like really, really loud. I could just turn it down. Actually, I probably will just turn it down. Yeah, I, I spent like a whole hour trying to set up my and then another like 30 minutes trying to set up my mic. I don't know why it was so difficult. <laughs> right. Uh, this is not a good man. Okay, first we turn down the volume. There we go. There we go. All right. We just hard go into polymerization. Wow. That is. How did I just notice that right now? That is actually very cool. I never. I've never played Vendreds, but. They don't look too bad. So if if you if you go first, then you always want to fusion summon fight for Kraken first because it's good defense. Plus, you know, if you have you know, Fluffle Penguin and Edge Imp Chain in your hand, you re and Polymerization or something like that, you really want to fusion summon with them so you can have good for effects. Now, Fight for Kraken doesn't have any effects on your opponent's turn, but it can attack twice, and once it ha its battle phase is ended and it attacked, it can change its battle position. And then on your turn, you can send a monster your opponent controls to the graveyard once per turn. Yeah, I really enjoy Fluffles and Fight for They're probably my favorite deck now. Oh, this is actually kind of tough. We want to send Saw to the graveyard. We want to keep our fusion card, and then we want Fuffle Bear to put to get Toy Vendor on the field. And we want this. We definitely always add Fright for Patchwork to your hand after using Edge of Chains ability, unless you already have one in your hand. Then you can add anything else you want to, to your hand. But yeah, this is one of your best searchers in this deck. I barely ever used Max C in this deck. Okay, so always add Scythe to your hand with this card on your first, if you're going first, because then you can summon Cruel Whale 
on your opponent's turn. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. We can keep Bear around. Who doesn't love Fluffle Bear? Look at that. That's so cute. I did a really good drawing of Fluffle Cat the other day. Looked really, really good. Alright, so the question is Is Ban here playing a Vendra deck? I hope he is. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Future Fusion! Now, I barely ever see that card. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna activate Pike just yet. Actually, that's not a good idea, because we'd have to destroy Fight for Kraken. Oh well, sometimes you have to make sacrifices. Oh wow! <laughs> Activate Future Fusion, set 3, pass. I like that. <laughs> we might have another win here. Okay, Edgem Scythe isn't what I wanted to see. Okay, okay, okay. Got this. So, here's the plan. We activate Fight for Fusion to fusion summon with the cards in the graveyard. Doesn't have any negates. Okay, that's good. Uh, oh, the other one. But... No, well, this is tough. Probably just gonna go into well. It was a tough decision, but it had to be done. Now, their abilities don't actually activate because they were banished. And they weren't sent to the graveyard. But we still get Cruel Whale on the field, and that is fine with me. So sadly, we we're gonna need to say goodbye to Fight for Kraken if you want to get rid of Future Fusion. All right, you're. We're probably winning this. It all depends on what deck he's using, if he draws into a good card, you know, stuff like that. Sorry, Kraken. Bye. Gotta go by now. But I'm... I don't want him to active right... Future Fusion, not Fight for Fusion. Okay, so... Probably just... Activate Polarization. Mm, this really isn't the greatest hand. That couldn't have been much better. We don't want to summon Sabertooth because I'm scared its ability won't work, so we're just going to summon Daredevil. No, I've got Daredevil out once before, and, you know. I actually don't really know what Daredevil. <coughs> Sorry, what Daredevil does. If I could summon him. Okay, there we go. I just had to ask. Alright, so what does Daredevil do? This card is great. Oh, okay. That's, uh... That's, that's an okay effect. I guess we want to act the cruel whale. Question is though, mm, we 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 buff Daredevil. We buff Daredevil. He'll he'll get a better buff. I guess it doesn't really matter actually. It might not. Okay, send fight for bear to the graveyard. I love it when I actually get fight for bear on the field. I don't, I don't know why. Fright for Bear is my favorite Fright for Fusion monster. It's just like the artwork and just the card in general. I really like it. So with one attack, he's already below half health. <laughs> Wait, we could have summoned Edge and Scythe to instantly win. We could have won. 
I could have killed him instantly. Why didn't I summon Scythe? I'm stupid. I could have just given him a chance to redeem himself there. Alright, so I'm curious as to what cards he has face down. Because he didn't activate any of that. <laughs> okay. Awesome! Four wins in a row! Wow. We're doing really good. I didn't actually expect to do that good tonight. <laughs> I'm really tired. A rank three. Nice. That's really good because I'm really low on jump right now. Hopefully we don't rank up to diamond though. That would be that would suck. Let's right. just, just go check our missions here quickly. Four. Okay, let's see what we do. Okay, just else. This is actually a fairly new account I have here. Um, I used to play on my Switch a lot, but I downloaded it on my computer because I'm pretty sure you actually can't record your games on the on the Switch. But yeah, I'm really I, I I enjoy this account much more than my older account, so I actually got rid of it. I deleted the game. All right, so I'm gonna save these gems because I might. You guys can like. Uh, write down deck ideas in the comments below, and if I'm, you know, I'll save these gems for one of you, the lucky winners, and I'll try and make for it that deck. If you noticed uh, when I was showing you my deck before I, you know, I showed you it, I did have a lot of other decks, but yeah, there's a lot of, I have a lot of really good ideas. All the blue ones are you know, under construction as I like to call it, but not, they're not finished and then all the purple ones are. Okay, we're going, let's, let's go second this time. Doesn't really matter, actually. It really doesn't. Alright. Let's see if we can get a fifth win in a row. I've lost track of time, so I don't really know how long we've been <laughs> We've been playing here, but I know it hasn't been for too long because these games have actually been very quick. Oh, God, the lag is so terrible tonight. I thought I heard something. That's weird. All right, let's let's get another win. Well, for s I would have like buttloads of gems right now, but for some reason solo mode doesn't work. For me. Oh my gosh! This is actually not that bad of a hand. Okay, what's he? Ugh. Well, we're just gonna hope that it's pure. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Summon Ash Blossom! Wow! They must not have anything. When you have to summon Ash to do your Synchro Summon for you, are we just going into <laughs> just summoning Baron and then passing? Wow! <laughs> I've never seen anybody do that before. <laughs> okay, this is good, this is good. It's not ideal, but it's good. Plus, you know, we're just gonna negate Fight for Patchwork anyway, so... Actually, this... Ugh, this sucks. Baron is a really, really good card. <gasps> They're letting me activate my card! They must think I'm using Branded Fusion or something. But no. I'm, I'm playing a much better deck. I'm playing Fuckles. I, I've thought about making a Branded a branded Despia deck, but it's so freaking expensive, and honestly, I don't really want to. I don't want to play that really. I don't like. That. Yeah, I knew it. As soon as I activated Polymerization, they negated. Mm, I hate you so much. And we can't. Oh. Wait a minute. 
actually, maybe it's good that Baron negated our effect. Because we can actually still do stuff. Wait, can we? Or am I... am I just losing my mind? Or am I not sinking? I am really tired, but probably a bit. If we summon Verte... Then that means... We can't illusion summon. Okay. Mm, I just messed up. Okay. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, I'd probably just go into Verte. Or maybe I... no, you know. Just pass. Oh, I messed up so bad here, I shouldn't have done in this one. I'm just gonna activate Scythe... Scythe tree. Uh, why am I not sinking? When did this guy get a card sleeve? Wait, what? What on earth is this person doing? I didn't know Baronet had an effect like that! Okay. <laughs> That's honestly not that bad. Well. <clears throat> Uh, wait, no, 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 this, this, that's, okay, okay, I, I thought I screwed up here. <laughs> okay, we still have Fluffle Wing. No, Dana, I did mess up. Because we're getting rid of Fluffle Wings. Oh, I am so stupid. Mm, yeah, that's my fault. Now I can't activate Fight for Cruel Whale's ability. Because I'm Buffle. Okay, let's just activate Buffle Penguin and hopefully they negate that. Read the card! Read the card. Okay, they can't do anything for some reason. Or they're just choosing not to. I'm just gonna take a chance. Oh my gosh, it worked. Why? Why aren't you negating anything? I should be more worried about your back row, actually. Oh my god, we have Siphon the Graveyard! I'm a genius! Okay, okay, okay. We don't have to panic. Yes! Send Toy Vendor to the Graveyard! Oh my gosh! We're drawn into the perfect cards right now. All right, this is awesome. Do you have anything? Is it called by the grid? Ash Blossom! Okay, okay, that doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. We, we still got this, we still got this. Um, no, I want to strike the cool oil. Um, well, maybe I should, because I could get Sabertooth on the field. Yeah, I could get Sabertooth on the field, and then... He's safe... from... battle... destruction and card destruction. I think, yeah, I think we're act that's actually what we're gonna do. Oh? Art Nemesis Protoss. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, this isn't good. Gonna destroy a water monster on the field. I get it. Or maybe he won't. Hopefully. Hopefully he's going to be nice and just let us play our cards. Mmm, we just send Fright for Bear to the Breaker. Will he be nice? No. It destroys all water monsters, right? Oh, hard attack right there. Ow. He doesn't realize that. 
Okay. <laughs> I don't know what he has, but I'm pretty sure this is the another just another sword soul deck. <laughs> if you're just doing really bad or something. Okay, so, so first we activate Fight for Patchwork. Because we want them to negate this card if they can. I'm 100% sure they can't. Okay. Okay. Uh, our hand sucks. We have every Edge Imp monster in our deck. Well, every different type of Edge Imp monster in our deck. Oh. It's not something we like to see. Okay, okay. Fine, that's fine. Mm. Okay, so we just hope that they can't escape by the future. It's literally it, we just hope they can't escape this. I feel like they can. I really feel like they can. Hopefully, if Sabertooth's ability works, we can bring back. No! Okay, well, is he banishing. He's banishing Bear? Why would he banish Bear? He should have banished Cruel Whale. It would have made so much more sense. What is up with the people tonight? Okay. That is fine. That is honestly fine. I don't need Fright for Bear anyways. I got Fright for Sabertooth on this side, and now I can't even take the lead even if I could. Okay. okay, so now we've got pretty much an indestructible card on the field. Obviously, there are still ways to get rid of him, but... I like to think that he's indestructible. <laughs> Anytime, I'll give it a minute. Fight for Sabertooth is honestly one of my favorite cards to summon in this deck. I sh no, I'm not gonna put two cards, two copies. <laughs> two copies of Sabertooth is honestly a waste of time. Alright, you're going down, Protoss. What does he have now? Okay. I'm even more worried about the card he has face down. Alright. Other than our hand, we are doing great. By the way, you will see a lot of fusion decks on this channel because I honestly prefer fusion summoning other than all of the other ones. Ecclesia! Crap! Well, actually... That doesn't matter, because Moe's ability can't activate. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Moe's tie. Oh, how... He banished... Protos? What is with this guy? He's banishing all the right, wrong cards. Alright, I forgot Taya was the same. I knew it was a sword soul deck. <laughs> I knew it. Every time you see Tenny, it's, you obviously and you immediately know that it's a sword soul deck or it's one of the duologues decks. <laughs> but honestly, Tenny is a very good engine. I'm not making fun of it or anything. I actually, on my older account, I use Tenny in all of my decks. Chicks now, but it's not really good, right? Because Tyne doesn't really have a good ability. It just sends a Soulful card or a Worm Monster from the deck to the graveyard. I don't know what really good card he could send to the graveyard. Okay, it's a Shooter. You know, that's actually that's actually not that bad. He banished the Shooter to some Protoss, so obviously he wants. But he can't get Monk out because there's no other Tenny monster on the field. Does it, does it just have to be like a non Link Worm monster? It could just be that. Sword Soul Emergence. Okay. 
You still can't do anything though if you add any of your sword soul cards to your hand. They're all useless. Just realize you the same thing. Okay, long from the end. He's hoping he, dra <laughs> he draws a good card. Or maybe... Is that the waterfall? The waterfall card. I forgot his name, but it adds a worm monster from the deck to your hand. Is it? Can he add a card from his deck to his hand? No, he can't. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure he can't. I'm... Okay. <laughs> He's trying to destroy Sabretooth by battle. He doesn't realize that's <laughs> Sabretooth. That's six games in a row that we've won. <laughs> oh my gosh, that might be seven actually. Let's let's check. Actually, we can check in match history. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's our fifth win. Or no, that is six. I do no. No, yeah, that's five. I won a two ever matches against some other guys. I think it was earlier but today, actually. It might have been yesterday. But yeah, they were... I don't know why I'm finding so many bad players. That's no offense, they probably actually are very good. GG Tube. I'm expecting a lot from you. Use Quillbolt Tetrog, you're clearly a sweat, you're a pro. I, I haven't really been seen a lot of synchro decks because you know ever since they banned Crystron Helky Vibrax. And honestly, I'm very happy they did that. Uh, you know, it's like as soon as you see Crystron Helky Vibrax, you know, oh, it's gonna be a 20-minute game or a 20-minute turn. <laughs> Uh, is Mystic Mind still banned? I don't know. I, I don't I don't keep up on these things. All right. What the? Is that a 60 card deck right there? Is that what I'm seeing? Oh my! God. This is such a bad hand. Yeah. Red eyes. <laughs> Wait, what? Link something. You don't normally link something to Red Eyes deck, right? Striker Dragon, oh. I have a feeling that we just lost. He's using rockets, and rockets just got a really, really good card. <laughs> Like, a ridiculously good card. And if he gets it out, then there's no chance of winning. Well, maybe, you know, I don't know. Okay, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. I know where this is going. It's just a whole blink climb. I don't know why he's using 60 cards in his deck, though. <coughs> Sorry about that. You don't normally see a 60 card deck, if you know what I mean. I used to run this 60 card Ojama deck on my older account. It was terrible. <laughs> my newer Ojama deck on this account is so much better. And actually, I figured out that it's actually an OTK one. It's an OTK. Dragon Maze! I love Dragon Maids. I actually want to make a Dragon Maid deck. It's on my it's on my to-do list. I, on my order account, I had a Dragon Maid deck. It was amazing. And I absolutely love playing this. I don't care what anybody else says. Dragon Maids are my favorite Dragon Maid type. And in my opinion, the best. What is he going into? The Dragoonity Knight? Is this just a dragon deck in general? Dragon Beat. 
in the Dragon Lords and some of the Victor's Okay, I can see how that can technically work in a Dragon Knight deck. Send, you know, one of the higher level monsters. Higher level Dragon Knight to the graveyard. Mizuki? What is Mizuki doing in here? <laughs> what is this guy doing? I'm checking this guy's deck after. <laughs> this is very absolute router dragon. Okay. That's a nice finish there. Okay. I have no idea why Mizuki is in here. Unless he's running Dragon Zombie, <laughs> or Zombie Dragon. <laughs> I highly doubt it though. I don't know what this guy's doing. There's this one guy who was playing a really, a really weird version of a just draw into Exodia deck. He was using like the Oh, it's like a royal book of magic library something. I probably just butchered the name there. <laughs> I know I did. Um, but yeah. As soon as he activated Exodia, my computer crashed. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be telling you that. Because if I ever do like duel rooms, then you're just gonna <laughs> do an Exodia deck to crash my computer in my game bear. I don't know if I'm ever gonna do streams or not. I do, I am recording, gonna be recording my videos on OBS Studio. So you know, I always could. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing Twitch or or YouTube. It would probably be. A, I, don't, I I don't know. I don't know. It might be Twitch. Twitch definitely has a better chat. Than YouTube does. I caught Leia Asimov's YouTube stream yesterday, I'm pretty sure it was. And, you know, you didn't have all of the, you know, the, the cute little emote there. You just had really, really weird YouTube ones. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was a good stream. It was, it was fun. I like that. <laughs> realize these guys are pointing to each other from afar. Uh, okay, so he's gonna link some into the what is it? What's it called? I forget, but it's the it's the new link five for the Boral. Boral new Boral Link 5. And it is a really good card. Come on, just do it. I, uh, okay, what is he doing now? <laughs> I still don't get why he has 60 cards in the deck. It just does not make sense to me. It might make sense to you guys, but... Also, why is he using this card? I don't understand Guard Dragon just... Oh, he's going into Link 2. Dillingerous Dragon. Is he just trying to Link Summon every single <laughs> card he has in that extra deck or something? Five. five. Wait, what? He only has 14 cards in his extra deck. Wait, did he bring one? Okay, yeah, he has five. Fifteen, sorry. Oh, uh, I'd really like to play... <laughs> Man, Maxi would have been really good here. <laughs> the one time I didn't, I don't draw into Maxi. Is the one time I need it the most. Because honestly, Fight for Patrick is pretty useless because it just adds an edge imp monster to my hand, and I need Fluffles. I guess. If we draw a good card, we could possibly. I'm hoping we just draw into a Fluffle monster. Uh, I really wish I could draw Maxi. If 
Truth is one game, I activated Max and I had 15 cards left in my deck. <laughs> I think I had like actually more than 30 cards in my hand. It was so funny. Okay, now he's going into the big box. Oral, oral and dragon. He doesn't have a summon animation? What? Okay, let's, let's read this card's ability. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Also, neither player can target this card with monster effects. This card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each quick effect. You can target one effect monster and one monster. Okay, the monster. Fat grass looks green. I knew it. I knew. I knew they were running. Fat grass looks greener. Glow blue. Okay. I really don't understand this guy's deck at all. Oh, it's just so random. He can't use the grass with screen right anymore. Okay, Synchro Summon into Boral Savage Dragon, am I right? We are we are screwed. We're we're not running this. Chaos the Chaotic Dragon. Okay. For some reason I barely ever see this card. People tend to use it a lot in their decks. Alright. Super Polymerization! Chaos Base. Wait, so is it like a Chaos... Doom King? What is... I appreciate the randomness of this guy's deck. I do. I honestly love it. It's random, what's not showing? Right, chaos base. I've been. I thought about making a chaos deck because I know that we are good, but. Not for me. But chaos cards do work really well in light swimming decks. Light sword. Pretty sure it's light sword, yeah. Oh, come on. This guy finally sets a card and passes, right? Or does he have more stuff he can do? It would be so funny if he linked these off for like a chew. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be that would be so funny. Uh, this hand is not what we want going up against Boral End Dragon because it's the Boral End for us now. <laughs> Sorry, I I can't help myself. There will be a lot of puns. Trust me. Fairy Tale Snow. I see millions of? A 60 card mill deck? No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I know, it's probably. You know, eventually I'd like to play. Oh my gosh. We are so dead. I don't know why he's running this. Uh, okay, he's getting rid of his really good card for IP Mask right now. Okay. Okay. 
knew as soon as I saw the hedgehog, he was gonna be a good player. Unlike the last five or six. So apparently him getting rid of that card did not matter. Dragons. Kind of useless. I have nothing on my field. Oh, had to adjust my headset there. It's falling off. Could you please just end your turn? I want to play the game. Why would he summon that? can't activate, well I guess he could technically. Toy Vendor, no! The one good card in our hand. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. That's fine. That, that's not fine. Why is he running zombies? I don't understand any of this. Is he, is he special summoning Doom King? He's pulling out all the stops. <laughs> okay. He's probably running zombie mode if he has Doom King. I could be wrong. He could be just running him in for the fun. The fun of it. This is. I've never seen a field like this before. Please let it be a fluffle. Oh, yes! Yes, that is just what we wanted to see. There is absolutely nothing we can do about that. Nightmare? No. It's useless. Oh? Maybe Nightmare actually isn't so bad. Okay, so we need to get Polymerization in our hand. ASAP. IP Mascarena, Ash Blossom, any negate. <laughs> okay, thank heavens we can use our card. Alright, uh, we, we really need a chip chain. We really need it right now. Oh, I really do not know what we can do right now. We can- this summons Nightmare, right? Uh, one engine monster plus two... <sighs> okay, o okay, that's fine. That's fine. We just can't do anything good. Oh, we are so screwed. Should we just solve with Fluffle with Fright for Sheep? Uh, it's not really good at stalling. I think our best option is to... Just summon Fight for Kraken in defense position. Yeah, this is not. This is not good. Uh, GG, YouTube. Looks like you got me. <laughs> the first person in this video to. to defeat me. Unless this guy, you know. <laughs> Internet malfunctions. <laughs> I doubt it. I really doubt it. Wait, this card cannot be destroyed by them. <gasps> oh! Have I found a loophole? Technically, Fright for Kraken sends them to the graveyard. 
technically, it wouldn't be destroying. And technically, I'm not targeting, right? I'm not, I'm not targeting, right? Dang it, I'm being targeted, dang it! Mm. Well... Uh, so he's probably going into access code talker, 100% actually going into access code talker. be stupid if he links summoned this card away. Is he ever going into Access Code Talker or Nightmare Unicorn? Wait, what? Only two. I could be going into a three. Okay, yeah, nice. Wow, what a surprise. Ay. Oh, well, that's actually good. Actually, really good. I think we wanna patchwork tree. We could technically use Fright for Fusion. And then just stall for the entire game. <laughs> oh, but it's gonna be so boring. He could just get, you know, frustrated. This Necro World Banshee. Okay, so he does play Zombie World. Okay. Okay, so the plan is that we get Saber Tooth on the field and we stall for time. A.K. we stall until he runs out of cards in his deck. Because technically, he's got less cards in his deck than he does than I do in mine. Bear Zombie World! Okay. Oh. Rig. Crap! Forgot he did that. No, whatever, no, this. There is no way we're winning this. We needed him to get sent to the graveyard. Alright. Good game, good game. That's fine. That's fine. Gosh, you can return to menu. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. That was... Wait, I wanted to check this guy's deck. Dang it! <laughs> okay, fine, we're dueling. Nah, it doesn't matter, I know what he's doing. He was just doing and control, I'm pretty sure. If that's even a deck, we could technically have created boring control. The lazy effect? I already like this guy. <sighs> yeah, I, I love, like I said earlier, I love being in gold because it's literally where you find all the exciting decks. Obviously, you'll see a couple sweaty decks and meta decks. But then, you know, after you duel them, it's normally back to the fun decks. Alright, so this guy's going first. You know what? This hand could have been worse. Plus, we have Maxi. I need to just special summon. <laughs> Don't place card face down. Special summon. I want to activate Max C. <laughs> I just need to draw like a couple cards. 
couple good cards. Uh, well, lazy effect. Um, <laughs> uh, what? I don't know why. Most of the okay, Fluffle Penguin's actually not that bad. Um. Actually, there's not really anything good we can draw into. Fuffle Dog actually would be really good. So we're gonna discard Saw because we don't really need Saw. I oh, know we could draw two cards. Uh, okay. uh, I should have kept Saw. Let me guess. Ash Blossom? Oh, no? Okay. And that's the card we need right now. And that is the card that gets sent to the graveyard. Of course. You know what? I'm just gonna pass. I don't wanna waste any of my fossils. Hopefully just special summons a lot of <gasps> Vampires! I want to make this deck so much. I love vampires. Vampires are such a fun deck to play. I had one on my old account. I had a lot of decks on my old account, but vampires was literally one of my favorite decks to play with. They're very so fun. I, rec I highly recommend vampires and fluffles and dragon names. <laughs> yeah, we could actually die here because vampires are very good, especially with the new, with, you know, the support they got with the zombie vampire, which deserves a summon animation. The only vampire card with a summon animation right now is Voivo. And don't, don't get me wrong, Vo Voivode is an amazing card, I just wish that the zombie vampire had a summoning animation, he deserves it. Not yet, Maxi, not yet. You wait. You wait until you know that he's going to special summon. Yes, yes. That's familiar? Retainer. Sorry, I got my cards mixed up wrong. Yeah, I know how all the vampire combos work. <laughs> ah. Scarlet Scourge, okay, makes sense. Sand Retainer to the graveyard, makes sense. Now we have Fate Max. Yep, now we have Fate Max. Grimson? He's running Grimson. No, I actually never really ran Grimson in my deck. Probably has. I knew it. I knew he had vampire domination. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. As long as we draw into polymerization, we're good. Like, honestly, that's all we need to draw into. Or we could get lucky. Like, you know, summon Fluffle Penguin, Fluffle Sheep, if that doesn't work, and just special summon Fluffle Sheep with its own ability. <laughs> Go into Verte, fight for fusion. No, that wouldn't work because I don't know. Well, I guess it would because it's so on the very good. Okay, yeah, I guess that would work. Vampire Kingdom. You know, not a lot of vampire. Well, actually, a lot of vampire decks do run Vampire Kingdom, but most of the ones that I see don't run Vampire Kingdom. I don't know why. Vampire Kingdom is so like really good. Card. Let me summon an inches sucker. Activate sucker. 
special summon max is Jemai Field. Pass a zombie. Activate Sucker's ability. Draw a card. <laughs> I, I just love this deck so much. Uh, Vampire's Domain, obviously. One of the best cards in a vampire deck. Always runs three copies. Maxi, that's. Um, I guess it technically. Oh, I just forgot about that. I forgot he could do that. Voivode! There he is! Speak of the devil. We were just talking about you, Voivode. Your special summon Max C. <gasps> no! He took Saw! I need Saw! I forgot when he's normal summoned. No one normal summons him! Everybody special summons him. I completely forgot. Wow. Okay, so... Okay, thank Kevin. Oh, crap. He's like, he's summoning Damn it. The zombie vampire. Yeah, this is... This deck is just amazing. Though. That actually isn't bad, that actually kind of helps us. Because now we have cards in our graveyard again. Okay, Shadow Vampire Activate, Shadow... You know, we have to be honest. No, don't destroy... Actually, yeah, destroy Toy Vendor. I don't care. Just activate Toy Vendor's effect. Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Have 200 life points left to bait him. That's not a lot of life points to work with. <laughs> Wait, am, am I doing my thing? Yeah, that's 7,800. We have 200 left. Unless he special summons any more card. In which case, in which we don't have any life points left. <laughs> Vampire Ghosts of the Lily Tree and some of Oh yeah, but we have Vampire Ghost of Storage, Activate Star of Storage, and some of them. That's what I'm Will he exceed something? He probably won't. Nope. Okay. <laughs> he knows he won. I know he won. That's fine. And then he gains that point because of Vampire Domain. Will he kill me with Voivode or the zombie vampire? That's the question. Voivode. <laughs> okay, so that's two games we've lost in a row now. Okay, that's that's fine. That's that's perfectly fine. That was a good game. Now, have we completed any more missions? I don't care about any of that. There's no new selection pack. It ends soon, but there's no new selection pack. Still the newborn dragon and it's a boy. Bubba da foo boo. Bubba da foo. Alright. <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Headset slipping off my face again. 
All right, we're going first this time. I'd like to actually play <laughs> play a game. I don't know why we've been bricking so hard. But as as I said, Buffles are so good at recovering. All right, we can do this. We got this. I believe. I believe that this next game is going to be amazing. Oh yeah. So, so, okay, yeah, so normally in this deck you're gonna, you know, summon Fright for Cruel Whale, just get a bunch of them on the field, and you know, any other Fright for Fusion monster to support them, like Sabretooth. But another another thing you could try to do is OTK Fright for Wolf. It's a very forgotten card, nobody actually uses it. Yeah, it can attack up to the number of materials it was, that was used for its fusion summon, and trust me, it is capable of a lot. The only downside is that you need Edgem Sabers, and... Why are we getting such crappy hands? Well, I guess we could, like... Oh? <gasps> okay, so we run extra Foolish Burial to send Toy Bender to the graveyard. Same Foolish Burial. We could go into Verte here. Alright. This is good. This is good. Okay. Yeah, Fluffle Dog's alright. We have Fluffle Sheep. It's fine. Okay, so then back to it. We also have Fluffle Octopus. Fluffle dog. <laughs> All of the fluffle monsters are so cute. Okay, he has infinite impermanence. He's not activating it. Strange. He's waiting for Verte, probably, or some other card. Okay, so we probably we just activate Toy Winner. Discard Fluffle Octopus. Fluffle Bear? We actually drew a Fluffle Monster, that's awesome! Alright, we'll actually special summon Fluffle Bear. Now. Okay. Okay, this is this is good. Hopefully we don't have infinite impermanence. I'm really hoping that they don't, but I'm very, very sure that they do. Because when I activate dog's ability, you know, they could have done something and I know that's impermanence. Oh Just waiting. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And I actually learned that um, impermanence isn't a once per turn effect. Yeah. You can act at infinite impermanence three times in one turn. It's actually very annoying. Oh wow, he's even running blue eyes, that's just great. Okay, so we're screwed. Yeah, yeah. I don't even I hate branded fusion so much. But I can see it please. Would you let me quit? I don't wanna fight this person. I hate Freaking branded dusty yet. Can I quit now? Thank you. Nice. Sleep my 
everyone's favorite deck of all time. It's just so stupid. Now, I'm not offending anybody who plays it. I just... I really don't like the deck. It's just not fun to play against. Now, obviously, I know that, like, I can technically still... Probably still could have won, but it's just not fun. Alright, we lose, we lose a rank. That's fine. We just get to stay in gold for long. I really wish I got the Wookie Wookie. That's a good one. I, like, I actually built the Wookie Wookie beatdown deck on this account, but I got it. It wasn't very good. <laughs> it's very inconsistent. It was like a Moki Moki. It was almost like a Moki Moki. I forget, it was a Moki Moki branded deck, I think. No, not a Moki Moki branded deck, but it was a Moki Moki. It was a Moki Moki Despia deck because Moki Moki are fairy monsters. They work well with Despia. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was that, but it was very bad. It didn't. Work. Which was actually very weird because Despia was the main engine. <laughs> I forgot we were going first. <laughs> hey, we can get Fright for Bear out this turn. Well, actually, I guess we can't really. Oh, what do you have? Max C, probably. Max C? Yeah, I knew it. Alright, we're gonna activate Toy Bender. If we get a Fluff we're gonna activate special something. Actually, we will, because I want a fusion summon. Right. Oh, alright. Okay, so we're actually going to discard Fright for fusion. Because right now it's not that good. Son of a... Oh! A gem change ability activates. That's great! I forgot it activates when it's discarded from the hand. You know what? That is fine with me. You can still fusion summon. That's great. And yes, I'm fusion summoning fight for bear. I know I should I know I should fusion summon fight for Kraken, but I rarely ever get fight for bear out. It's very rare when I have both of the materials in my hand. Fright for Bear. Plus its effect is good. I don't know why people never use Fright for Bear. It's a good card. Alright. Polymerization time. Fright for Bear time. It's just like the anime. <laughs> it actually is. The kid, I forgot his name, but he activated Toy Vendor. He did a whole bunch of other stuff first, though, but he did summon Fight for Bear in the end. Yeah! Fight for Bear! The best Fight for Card, in my opinion. Oh, yeah! See, it's a good card. I don't know what people have against it. Just dumb. Right, turn now. Like it's so good. Especially with Especially with Sabertooth on the field, because then, you know, it gains an extra 400. If it attacks, destroys a monster, it gains a thousand. It's just real. It's a really good card. That's why I run two copies of it in my deck. Because it's so good. Oh, oh crap! All right. Okay. That's fine. Isn't Skull Cobat Joker banned in the actual trading card game? Gonna be actual card game? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure he's not actually. He might be limited to one copy though.
That's fine. That that doesn't bother me. I got Fright for Bear. The all-powerful Fright for Bear. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna get rid of that. I could summon Sabretooth, but I want to get rid of that card. It's not good when a Pendulum deck can Pendulum summon. <laughs> I learned that from experience. Plus, we get to activate Toy Vendor. It's like a win-win, really. Alright. We're doing this. back to her hand and yes you if you notice I do run chimera in this deck that's because chimera is also a good card I don't care what anybody else says chimera and bear are good cards look at that it's also so good every fright for fusion monster is good but yeah, yeah. they're all good Wait, that's good. That's good. Hopefully they... Oh, it has an effect. I forgot about that. Of course it has a floating effect. Wow, I actually screwed up real bad, Bear. I'm gonna power up Fright for Bear. We want Fright for Bear to be powerful. Should have just added dog, but Peng penguin's good. I don't know why, but I don't like dueling against pendulum decks, especially magician pendulum. It doesn't bother me as bad as Des Des Branded Despia or Numerons, but I don't know why. It's just I feel like it just annoy me for some reason. I can't I can't really explain it. Oaf Dragon. I honestly don't have any idea what these cards do, I just let them play. And <laughs> I just wait until it's over. Accidentally skip the animation. <laughs> Actually, didn't mean to. Oh my gosh! Uh, here's where all the odd eyes cards come into play. You know, I don't know why that fight for Dexter's or Fluffle Dexter. For... They're so expensive. Some cards 
honestly shouldn't be super expensive. But I made my deck, I'm fine. Alright, so I might I might be recording making another video tomorrow. I I probably will. Um, and if if I do, I'm probably going to be showing off my Ojama deck. I don't know. Time Star Magician. All right, I officially respect this guy. He's using Time Star Magician. Never in my life have I seen anybody use Time Star Magician. Yeah. What was that? And now what is he doing? Wait, he's just going into the Heavy Metal Foes card, right? Electrumite? Uh, Electrumite. Yep. Oh, just Electrumite. The music in this game is really good. Astrograph? Ugh. Ever since Astrograph got limited to one, I've, I've seen so many pendulum pendulum decks. Alright, alright. This is fine. I've got Cool Whale, I've got Bear. I, I'm hopefully gonna draw into uh, an, edge, an Edge Imp monster. I really hope I am. They can't destroy Bear, though. This is what I'm talking about. Bear is overpowered. And Cruel Whale. There's actually been one time where I actually did get Chimera out. And my opponent rage quit. I don't know. Oh, you thought you were gonna be as strong as Fright for Bear, now didn't you? Uh, tut tut mode. No one's as strong as the bear. Even Supreme King Dragon's tinier than the bear. I know why this card was banned, it's so freaking annoying. <laughs> it's got such cool art though. Alright, alright. You go attack, fight for cool now. Another one. <laughs> Okay, destroy this 3,000 attack point monster, why? Did he mess up? I don't know. Comes after Graph. Okay, so basically the plan is it I was going to attack with Fight for Bear, but I- oh, I guess that's uh, okay. As long as he doesn't get rid of it. Man, I am so confused as to what all of this stuff is doing. Like, I feel like anybody who plays Pendulum Magician, they're just they're so fast with all the stuff they do. It's like I don't have enough time to read everything before <laughs> because then it's like all over. And then it's on to the next thing. I like that. Perform a pal odd I synchron! <gasps> no one uses that. Chronograph sorcerer, everybody uses that. that no, I like the the art card art to perform that. I just never want to make a performance out of it. 
I don't know. Dude, you, you guys are weak compared to Fight for Bear. Don't get rid of Bear! Anything but Bear! Target Cruel Whale, please! Don't get rid of Bear! He never did anything wrong! Don't do it! Don't do it! You don't want to do this! No! <laughs> Why, Bear? No! Alright, we're gonna avenge you. I know you're still- you, they technically didn't destroy you, but we're gonna avenge you. I don't know how. <laughs> we're actually- we, wait, we died this turn, right? I'm pretty sure we do. Hi, Ah, uh, not Harbinger. Uh. Now what is he going into? Is it easy to reach access code? I don't see anything I can think of. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we lost. Ugh. Yes, use the effective edge site. Yes! Yes! Although I know you have more links in the game than you do. <laughs> no! No, cruel whale, no! Well, that's game. <laughs> GG. That was, that was fun. I got to get Bear out. That's all that really matters, right? Right? All right, well, I think that's gonna be it for the video. Um, I'd like to thank Leia Asimov for helping me. Uh, I asked some questions on stream and she helped out and that was really, really nice. And I'd like to thank both Leia Asimov and the Duologs for inspiring me to make this channel. And I recommend that you go subscribe to them because they are they're honestly my favorite YouTubers. Well, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTubers. Alright, that's gonna be it. I'm Fluffy Rock Duels. Goodbye. <laughs>